Welcome to Wild Game November 2024. We're going to be doing a rabbit provolone over angel hair pasta. To find these Wild Game November videos, put in hashtag Wild Game November 2024 and it should bring you to all of them that are listed in the playlist. Please watch every video in this collaboration and make a meaningful comment. Everyone's worked so hard to add their video to this collaboration so you could have wild game recipes. Thanks again, Christine, for inviting me to Wild Game November 2024. This collaboration is hosted by Christine, Miss Gillum Farms. I am going to be cooking and serving fried rabbit provolone over angel hair pasta. Stay tuned. Hello everybody, it's Jean from One Day at a Time Farmstead. Today we are doing a video and a collaboration for Wild Game November for Christine Miss Gillum Farms. We are going to be doing a rabbit in a um, red sauce with provolone cheese so instead of doing a chicken parmesan we're going to be doing a rabbit provolone over pasta so stick with us this is all fresh um, filleted rabbit we're going to be battering it and deep frying it and then we'll set it off to the side we're going to be making pasta and come along we'll go from there all right, to batter it, we're going to be using an egg wash with uh, two eggs and a cup of milk with some Tony Sachery in it. And then we're going to use the Zatarain's New Orleans style fish fry. I like this particular one for the seasoned uh, seafood mix. It's already got most of your seasons. I just put a very little, maybe half of a teaspoon of Tony's in the egg wash and in the batter. So here we have our egg wash and then here we have I just use the spider to mix my Tony's in there. Mix up the seasoning real good in my mixture. Now I have used the all-purpose flour which I do use often. All-purpose flour with cornmeal and I make sort of a corn flour and then season it. But today, um, we're going to just use this pre-made fish fry mix. Alright, so we dropped our little rabbit pieces in the hot grease. After we battered it, we dipped it in the egg wash and then we dipped it in the fish fry. And we also got our pasta going. We're going to be using a angel hair pasta. All right, we got these to a golden color, and we just pulled them out, put them on my fry mat, and we're going to drop our next batch. All right, I'm going to give you a little tip. When you are frying stuff, after you drop it, don't be tempted to play with it or anything until you see it float up, and that's when your crust has adhered to it really well, and it won't fall off as easy. So don't be tempted to play with it until it's actually floating. All right, our angel hair hair pasta, I can't even talk, is done. And we're going to let that drain and set it to the side for now. Okay, so I'm going to use the fire roasted diced tomatoes and the crushed tomatoes chili ready for my tomato base. Alright guys, I put my tomatoes. Now I have a tablespoon and a half of sugar. I have a Two tablespoons of Italian seasoning. I just used the Pampered Chef already mixed Italian seasoning. I used a half of a teaspoon of salt and a quarter of a teaspoon of black pepper. And that's it. We're going to let that cook down for a little while. We'll be back with you. All right, this is what our fried rabbit looks like. Now all we're waiting on is our sauce to finish cooking. And then we'll finish up our plates in a little while. All right, we did add fresh uh, parsley to this. I'm cooking it on a medium heat for about 30 to 45 minutes, and it should be good and ready. I don't want this cooked down where it's a brown 
kind of red sauce. I just want the tomatoes to be a fresh tomatoey taste on top of our pasta. All right, I did add, let the um, steam clear. I did add um, some garlic powder. Usually I cook garlic down and all, but this is kind of a fast meal for us tonight. So we just added about three tablespoons of garlic. We like garlic. Okay, I did pre-cook my pasta and I run cold water over it. That way the pasta cook, you know, quits cooking. I'm just gonna put some hot water over it and be ready to serve. All right, on our bed of pasta, we're gonna lay down some provolone cheese. Then we're gonna lay out our rabbit. And then we'll put our sauce. And we lay another slice of provolone on top. A little sprig of parsley and we'll come back. The cheese will be nicely melted and we'll serve it just like that. The playlist is listed below in the details. And as always, thanks for doing life together with us one day at a time.